Hey, what's, your, what's happening, y'all? You ever notice on YouTube, everybody says, what is up, guys, right? Not what's up, right? What is up, right? So dig this. Like today, I'm going to give you a little walkthrough through my like COVID sanctuary, right? Like my work area. Let you see kind of like where I live on a constant day-to-day -day basis, which I'm blessed to have this little work area and I love it and it's kind of comfortable for me, you know. So anyway, let's take a look. So first of all, this is like the computer, okay? And then you got one of these lights. We got this for 12 bucks, right? My wife is the king of like Amazon shopping. And I got another light right here. <clears throat> Down here is my metronome, which I don't use enough. <laughs> some pens, the keyboard, right? Which operates this because this keyboard doesn't work anymore and it hasn't worked for years. There's my little mouse. Here's my awesome stereo thing. So I got two speakers right there for my music. There's the internet thing and the subwoofer thing down there, right? So I got some decent bass. Here's like some like sacred items to keep me like feeling good. It's my Hasoe skateboard. Hasoe, Christian Hasoe is a skateboarder that like did almost a decade in prison for uh, a meth bust. And he turned his life around and became like a powerful Christian. Anyway, like whatever you think about that, it means a lot to me just knowing that Christian did that. So I keep that up there. This is a harp off the cover of uh, Better Days, the Butterfield album that my friend Jerry Deal gave me. I also have some harmonicas from famous harmonica players. They're, they're not signed or anything. I, I don't care. I know where, who they're from. They're, mostly they're from Paul DeLay. So like, take a look at some other things, right? So like, here's like my actual harmonica case, right? So like, this is like what, this is my gigging case, right? So I got my mic, my Lone Wolf mic, and a bunch of harmonicas. Now, some of them are made by Joe Spires, but mo most of them are made by, by Tom Halchek and uh, from Blue Moon Harmonicas. Oh, Kate's up. No food on me the rest of the day. I think that might be a tie. Anyway, Kate and I just tied on voodoo. So there's some harmonicas and like an extra mic. It's my like little saints mic with a skull knob. That's like one of the first ones we ever made. And then I keep like tools and like extra impedance things down here. Anyway, I try to keep like inspirational things to keep me um, grateful and grounded. And like one of those things is pictures of my buddies. There's a picture of Sean. I love that picture. And there's the great Pat Ramsey. And here's a little article from the Portland Press Herald from when Nikki died. So I keep that up there, you know. There's my boy, Mike Ledbetter, you know. And uh, I never knew Alan Wilson, but Alan's a huge inspiration. Keep Alan up there. There is my favorite Saints running back, Chris Ivory. Because Chris kind of got me into uh, football, right? Because he's so tough. Anyway, so like take a look around. Yeah, so some Blue Moon harmonicas and stuff. Here's my amp setup. Like I found if I keep it way over here and blocked, it doesn't like overpower uh, YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. There's my pedals. They're all set up. That's my pedal board. And, uh, you know, it's mostly lone wolf stuff. This little box here controls all this stuff underneath. It's pretty fucking fancy. Uh, took like six months to figure out how I was going to do this. And then like eight hours to put it together. <laughs> There's some of Kate's guitars. She's got, that's her Merlin that uh, J.P. Soares inspired. There's a J.P. Soares uh, cigar box guitar that I need to learn how to play better. And there's another cigar box guitar from my buddy in Indiana in a banjo. 
There's this is Kate's pedal board, her little pedal board. It's compact. It's got everything you need. There's my favorite little amp right there. It's like a, a an early '60s Premier that I found behind a in, in a, like a basement area of a club in New Jersey. It was like lying in a puddle of water. Right, Nick Moss bought me this this Saints. This awesome Saints uh, Super Bowl year schedule, right? With a picture of the boys, the year they did that. There's a picture of Vester. Here's like our living room area where we watch Real Housewives of New York, okay? Pretty much whenever we can. Any Real Housewives. Yolandi Visser. I've had this cat forever. I sometimes wonder if this picture might have some bad energy in it, but I don't know. I think that's just me projecting. That little New Orleans debutante chick, she's from Mark Turner, my buddy up in Indiana. Coming over here, look at, that's a Diane DeMassa fucking chicken painting, right? That's incredible. Uh, this painting here, I really like too, right? I don't know if you can see that, but like that's some Haitian artwork, right? By an artist named Charlemagne. And it's some rad ass cats just chilling. Anyway, yeah, there's Vester, right? Say hello. What's up, Papa? Yep, Saint Slippers. A lot of Saint stuff. Saint's flag over here. That's also from Nick Moss. Nick Moss sent us that too. This is my first touring harmonica case. Very cool. This is a first touring case. My buddy Clint Boyd gave me that Harmonicats thing. Here's some old CDs. Oh, this is my harmonica table where I work on embossing and gapping. There's all my fancy vape stuff. I'm, uh, I know you guys are going to be against the vaping thing, but if you are vaping, I'm a black note guy, right? That's that's what you need to try. It's cold pressed tobacco, no other additives. Um, anyway, yeah, a lot of saint stuff. There's a little shout out like to Houdat Nation. There's a, a the album with Johnny Winter that I played on. There's Ike Riley, right, a big friend of ours. There's a painting, a very powerful painting by my buddy Alma David Waite. That one carries a lot of energy. There's a signed Drew Brees jersey from my buddy Coach, right? Signed Drew Brees jersey. Un under here is my Grammy certificate for playing on the Johnny Winter album. Right there. So Rolling Stones album. There's the album. There's the Johnny Winter album that won a Grammy, right? So look at So you got... Johnny Winter with the Blues Brothers horns with Ben Harper, Eric Clapton, Paul Nelson, Brian Setzer, Billy Gibson, Bonamassa, Jason Ritchie, dan, 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 Leslie West, Joe Perry, Dr. John, holy cats. Anyway, yeah, so these are like a lot of the posters and stuff that we've, from gigs that we've been on. This is my mantra that I don't follow enough. The more I practice, the luckier I get. My mom found this rad lizard in the dump in in Maine. I think in Yarmouth, in Yarmouth, Maine. Oh, there's my boy, Aki Kumar, right? That kid is the best, man. And there's a, a heart from my buddy, Billy. So anyway, like all this stuff has like power, right? And it keeps me, it like energizes me, you know? Let's take a look out the front door while we're at it, right? I got to go soon. Uh, this is my city. That's the Black Panther. All right, there's, this is how beautiful it is here. All right, this is New Orleans. This is our house. You want to check it out? All right, check it out. Look at that sucker, man. All right? It's blue and purple and orange. It's got a Saints flag. Some Mardi Gras beads. Every, there's another. Look at that house. That Look at that cat thing they got. That's a cat thing up there. They got up there. The, the cats can go in and out of the house, out to that thing. Jealous. All right. 
Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Just thought I'd give you a little tour. Thank you, Lone Wolf. Thank you, Blue Moon Harmonicas. Thank you, Patreon subscribers. Appreciate y'all.